Hello again, um, I'm here again in the Toyota Celica and um, I've just started doing a job and uh, it occurred to me that it might be something that uh, had trouble with the sunroof so I've started taking all the headliner off there's the motor and all the pipes and everything going to the mechanisms and the sunroof rail and everything so I've come to the conclusion basically the motor's fine I can hear it trying to click and trying to move so, well that's my conclusion so far I think basically a bit of water's got into the system here because all that pipe there's all rusted up and perhaps it's just seizing a bit so I have managed to pick up a new all the new sort of sunroof mechanism and um, I thought I might just quickly show you just um, what I'm up to at the moment I basically had to take all the sun visor off and um, like the seat belt and a little uh, hanger coat hanger thing out the back there and a couple of clips at the back there to take all the headliner off I thought I could do it without doing it but it's impossible and uh, I'm going to then uh, have a go at uh, removing the sunroof and basically uh, see because even once I, I've taken a couple bolts off there's just only two bolts holding the motor on so somebody might be able to advise me on this but I can't get that motor to come off and I've looked at the old one and it's only just showing two bolts I noticed on the new one the well second hand one that I've got which is which hasn't got the motor on it the metal's all bent so I think he's really forced the motor off when he's taken it off he has so I'm gonna just uh, continue taking that off and uh, I'll show you how I get on right here we are with all the headliner off now so I've started unclipping their uh, drain hoses is one at each corner so uh, they're quite easy you just you've got these quite handy little clips so just slide that off and pull that off and uh, another one obviously at the other corner there I have to excuse the juddery film work but uh, I'm doing my best and then I'm not sure but what I might do is um, just take the glass panel out it's not actually glass it's plastic remove that first and then it just looks like there's uh, these brackets here which are keeping the sunroof in place then so um, I'll be quite keen to take all that off because I've heard that they do often leak so it'll be, give me a good chance to uh, give everything a good examination and fix it out if I need to but perhaps here you can see what I think well it probably isn't helping I'm not sure whether or not it's the cause but uh, you can see the condition of that corner there so uh, yeah basically there's a big uh, well, it's hard to explain like a sort of a spiral flexible tube which is running this mo which is connected to that motor and that just pulls the mechanisms back and forth so I think that's the basic gist of it so I'll continue taking all that apart and uh, we'll have another look right I've taken the glass out of the panel I think that's a uh, well it's just a bit lighter and makes it a bit easier to get out and um, this is a uh, the new one, well not new one, second hand replacement you can see uh, the tubes are in much better condition but this is what I was on about the motor, they, when they took the motor off they've, they've bent all this section here where the motor sits there's just two bolt, bolts so um, I, I'm not quite sure how it's held in but uh, once I take all that off I'll be able to see and uh, hopefully I'll make a much better job than that because they bent all this part of it as well you can see the tubes are in really good condition and there's no corrosion there but that's my lid that I've just taken off and that's the one this one's come with but my lids actually in better condition you can see it's all bubbling up here so it's not going to make a good seal so I might use all of this frame but my lid as well there so a combination of both so We'll see how we get on now. Right, um, just a quick handy tip when you're taking this sunroof off. There's, um, if we get the camera to focus, it's a very poor light, there it is. There's these brackets here which are 
holding the actual roof in position and I've taken that one bolt off there and there's one there that's got to come off as well because that's still holding it in position but um, there's also there, there's six of those all together three on either side there's this there's one bolt that goes through the frame there and then that holds that on a little tip is leave that bolt on while you take these off it makes it a lot easier there's no no strain on the brackets while you're trying to take these nuts off and then there's all this sort of plastic um, corrugated sort of uh, stuff which holds the side pillar trim and all that that's got to come off as well to get access to those bolts there so it's 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 a little bit fidgety but it's not too bad so we're, we're nearly there I, I've done it on this side it's just hanging off there so uh, I just about managed to get to the end bracket there just by pulling this bit of trim this is the sort of stuff that holds that sort of trim on if that makes sense so uh, we're nearly there all this is really loose so uh, I'll just get on with the other side but that's a little tip you can see I've left that bolt in in there on the middle of the frame and the three other brackets are off now so uh, we'll just do the same on the other side but initially I left that I took that bolt out and it I just got the whole weight of the frame coming down then and it's a bit awkward so it should make life a little bit easier for you if you're having a go at it. Right, there we go, we got the sunroof out. Great big, great big hole in the top of my car. And you can sort of see what we've had to do to get it all out. You'll see a grown man crying in a minute if it starts raining. So, fingers crossed. So that's basically it. And I've got the one here. Um, this is the one that's, whoops, this is the one that's uh, come off and uh, here's the replacement so we turn that round uh, so I've got to just try to figure out how to take that motor off apologies for the sound they're doing a lot of work next door so I don't know if the, the phones are the cameras picking that up and uh, so I'll have a go and I'll, I'll sort of try to at the same time figure out what actually went wrong with this but I'm pretty sure it's water getting in the, at that point there and uh, caused a load of corrosion in there somewhere so I think basically it's just stuck really that's all so uh, we'll have a little blast at that and uh, wish me luck Right, so what I've done is I've taken all this old sunroof off and put it all back to, I took the motor off, cleaned it all up and just kept my fingers crossed it all work. I took the motor out as well and um, had it disconnected from the frame and uh, the motor spins around lovely so that there's no issue with the motor. And um, after I sprayed loads of WD-40 and bits and bobs uh, and sort of tried to clean out all these tubes with the, the running gear in it and all that. It, it still doesn't work it just I think it's just seized up basically so um, I was only trying that because um, this framework and everything it's in better condition than the the one that was sold to me I bought it off eBay and I don't think the bloke took much care when he was giving it to me and uh, either that or it got bashed around and put in um, with a courier and things like that so I'm gonna whip this back off put this motor on the other frame put it back on and um, We'll keep everything crossed then, we'll have another go. Right, moment of truth. I put the old motor on the second hand frame I bought. So um, I genuinely haven't tried this yet. So uh, I'm feeling quite hopeful just because I can't see the corrosion I had on the other one. So um, oh, that must be to turn it off, to close it. Hey, hey there we go, we got some action. And that just tilts it up and then another press sends it all the way back then. It's sounding a bit scrapey there but I think it just needs a bit of a clean up but all good. Let's try to close it then. Let's have a look. Excellent. I'm really pleased with that. So uh, I'll get it all back together and uh, it'll be job done. So sods all just the start of winter and uh, we've got the sunroof going again so <laughs> hopefully we'll uh, be able to enjoy it for next year and uh, 
I'll put it all back together with the glass in and everything and uh, we'll take another quick look at it then. Right, here we go. All the headliners back on and all the clips back in and screws and visors and lights and seat belts. Oh, saying that, I haven't put the driver's side one on yet. Just the passenger one's on, that's uh, just one bolt. So, uh, moment of truth. Let's press the button. There you go, it does the tilt first and then press it again and it should go back. There you go. And uh, that hasn't worked for about two years, so super pleased with that. Let's uh, close it up again. Uh, close. A little bit juddery, so not quite sure why that is, but uh, there we go, all closes. And uh, job done. So that was, uh, well, basically a Toyota Celica sunroof repair, and uh, the motor's fine. I'm, I'm sure they're pretty simple, sturdy things. I always see people replacing the motor, they, they don't usually go wrong, especially these Japanese cars. So it was mainly uh, some moisture had got into the rails or whatever the, the mechanism there and isn't it and the old one had seized up so after two years this one's working again so we've just got all the the actual sunroof part and I've used my old um, the glass here which was a bit better on mine than the one that was sent so it's all working again so um if you like this video please uh, subscribe and like and uh, any questions and queries are always welcome. Okay, thanks.